Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we want to solve some past paper questions from topic 3 in IB uh, which is based on product table. So let us see what we have. Which pair of elements reacts most readily? We want to see like uh, among these four pairs which one will react more readily. So let's compare them. We have in metals potassium and lithium. We know potassium is more reactive than lithium. Why? Because in potassium the size is bigger. Size is big so electron is away. It is away from the nucleus so it easily is removable. The tendency of metal is to lose electrons. So potassium can lose electron easily as compared to lithium. So potassium is more reactive. But if you look at the other case, bromine is less reactive than chlorine. What's the reason behind it? is because the size of bromine is bigger size is bigger it has one extra shell it is in group period number four it is in period number three so it is uh, electrons are held more strongly in chlorine when they are more strongly held in chlorine make makes chlorine more reactive so the correct answer is chlorine and potassium which of the following properties of halogen increases from fluorine to iodine when we are talking from fluorine to iodine it means we are going down the group down the group so atomic radius yes it increases when you are going down the group atomic radius increases why it increases because the number of shells also shells increase when shells increases the size automatically increases melting point yes melting point also increases when you are going down the group why because the van der Waal forces you can call for easiness you can say like the intermolecular forces they increase to break them you need more uh, energy so it also increase but if you look at electron activity electron activity decreases down the group why because the size increases when the size increases it's like uh, atom, atom loses the power for electron so less attraction is there so electron activity decreases so the correct answer is what to be this is the same like the first one so we can say potassium and chlorine for which element at the group number and the period number the same you can use the product table and see like the lithium the group number of lithium is one but the period number is two so this is not the correct we want the same for this one it is group 2 and period 2 so group and period is the same so this is the correct answer B is correct but you can verify the others this boron this is group 3 it is in group 3 but period number is again 2 and magnesium group 2 and period also is 3 so only the same is one B is the same one which of the following properties below decreases with increasing atomic number for both alkali metals and the halogens like the atomic number is increasing and which one will decrease atomic radius atomic radius will increase why because atomic number is increasing so shells will also increase we are going down the group so atomic radius increases ionization energy normally decreases when you go down the group why because when you are going down the shells increase when the shell is increasing you need uh, nuclear attraction will decrease so you don't need that much of uh, energy so ionization energy will decrease and melting point also increases as we discussed before because the van der Waal forces increases the molecular force increases so melting point also increases so the correct answer is B rubidium is an element in the same group of product table as lithium as sodium it is likely to be a metal which has high melting point and reacts slowly with water high melting point and reacts vigorously with water low melting point and reacts with water or low melting point and reacts slowly with water keep this thing in mind this rubidium metal is denser than water when it is denser than water it sinks in and it dissolves readily so these two options are gone this is gone I mean B and C is left now if you see rubidium and uh, as compared to lithium and sodium it is down in the group if you look at the product table 
rubidium is down the group down the group it's a big uh, uh, atom as compared to sodium and lithium it has low melting point why it has low melting point because it has a big size size big more number of shells are there and so we can say that low melting point and it reacts vigorously with water why it has low melting point because it has a big big size so it has weak intermolecular forces and it is more denser than water so it reacts vigorously with water also when the following species are arranged in order of increasing radius what is the correct order we want to we want to check the order of them if you compare them we have chlorine negative we have argon and we have potassium plus how many electrons are there what is the size atomic number of chlorine is 17 this is without the ion okay atomic number this is 18 and this is 19 but how many electrons it has now this ions has how many electrons now because it is negative 1 so 18 now argon is neutral 18 and it lost one so it is 18 also if you look all of these three have the same number of electrons the species which have the same number of electrons we call them what we call them isoelectric species like they have the same number of electrons in this case we compare their size with this relation which is size is inversely proportional to atomic number the more the atomic number less will be the size we want increasing radius so the lowest size is for K plus then for argon then for chlorine so the correct answer should be here is B what is the reason behind it they are isoelectric species the relation for isoelectric species is what size is inversely proportional to atomic number what increases in equal steps from one from left to right in the product table for the elements lithium to neon lithium to neon when we are going this is basically period number two in the product table let's say the number of occupied electron energy levels because period is the same when period is same energy level is also the same so this one is wrong note the number of neutrons is the most common isotope it's because isotope we are going from left to right they have different isotopes so this one is also wrong the number of electrons in the atom yes it is stepwise because they have also answered stepwise so this is correct atomic mass is also increasing but it's not stepwise so the correct answer is C this is also wrong this is also wrong the correct answer is C because this is the only thing that is increasing stepwise in the same period which property decreases uh, down group 7 in the product table so we are going down in the group let's see atomic radius atomic radius increases when you are going down the group when we talk about ionic radius it also increases because the shells also increases melting point also what will happen to the melting point melting point also increases when you are going down the group in group 7 it's group 7 so it will increase because the van der Waal forces are increasing in this case only thing that is decreasing is the electron negativity this is the thing that will decrease why because when the size will increase nuclear charge will decrease so electron negativity will also decrease now in answer is B which properties are typical for most non metals in period 3 sodium to argon we want to talk about non metals in period 3 they form ions by gaining one more electrons yes this is true they are poor conductors yes this is true they have high melting point there no this is not true because they are non metals non metals do not have high melting and boiling points so the correct answer is a 1 and 2 a potassium atom has a larger atomic radius than sodium atom which statement about potassium correctly explains the difference okay we have one potassium atom we say it has larger radius than sodium why it has larger radius we can see from the product table because potassium and sodium it's like down the group they are like down the group when we are going down the group atomic radius also increases okay so what we have it what makes it uh, why may, why the radius goes big you can see like this has period number three and this has period number four it has more shells more shells around it when 
when an atom has more shells around it the size will increase like it has three shells one two three and it has four so four one has more size as compared to the three one and also follow the trends so C is the correct answer here which factors lead to an element having a low value of the first ionization energy a large atomic radius yes this is true if it has more radius electron is away from the nucleus electron is away so easy to be removed when it is easy to be removed so ionization energy will not be that much high so this is true high number of occupied energy levels yes this is also true because more the shells will be there size will be more so same reason can be applied here high nuclear charge this is false if atom has high nuclear charge it means what you need more force of attraction you need more force of attraction to be broken so you need high energy so this is not true so what is the correct answer one and two only in this case okay which statements about electron negativity is correct we want to see which one is correct electron negativity decreases across the period this is false why it is false because it increases why increases because it has more nuclear charge more nuclear charge is there so atom can do attraction more electron negativity is the force by which atom attracts the shared pair of electron toward itself so more nuclear charge more attraction will be there so it is false electron negativity increases down the group it's also false why because the size increases when size increases atom a nucleus is away so the attraction will be less Mel metals generally have lower electron negativity values than non metals yes this is true why it is true because metals do not care much about uh, attraction they transfer the electrons noble gases have the highest electron negativity values this is also true so the correct answer is c this statement is correct for the product table here you can also mention here that the electron negativity value is low because they want to remove the electron they are metals they don't care much about sharing or attracting which statement is correct for the product trend we want to see like which statement is correct ionization energy increases from lithium to cesium this is false why because this is down the group lithium to cesium is down the group ionization energy decreases why it will decrease down the group because the size increases when size increases it's easy to be for the electron to be removed melting point increases from lithium to cesium we discussed it before it's false also why it will also decrease because the size will be bigger in the case of metals and uh, there will be more delocalized electrons and it's uh, the melting point will decrease also ionization energy increases from fluorine to iodine this is also false because you, again you are going down the group when you are going down the group ionization energy decreases melting point increases from fluorine to iodine yes this is correct why it is correct because the van der waal forces the intermolecular forces will increase when you are going down the group so melting point will increase this we discussed in previous question also